Hi guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. So not too long ago, I got tagged by my good friend on YouTube, Pals Lives Life, to do the this or that tag. I filmed that video, I did it, and kind of was thinking, you know, I don't think this particular tag, this particular questionnaire is really focused on my demographic. So I decided, because I could not find anywhere else on YouTube where anybody else was doing a mom edition of the this or that tag, I decided to make my own questionnaire for the this or that tag mom edition. You wanna do it? Let's get into it. So, this or that challenge is a list of questions. You have this thing or this thing and you have to pick one. So here we go, the first section, I'm torn, I might, <laughs> I guess I'm keeping the sections, but for a while I was thinking, oh, why do I have to have it sectioned? But the first section is shopping, so Target or Walmart. Now I'm torn because I do our grocery shopping at Walmart, but I mean, who's who does not have a guilty pleasure of going to Target and spending way too long in there? Um, <laughs> Just the smell of Target, just like, as soon as you walk in the door and you can smell Starbucks, you can smell Starbucks and popcorn as soon as you walk in the door. And it's just, I don't know why, but it's like, I'm home. <laughs> you guys know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna say Target, because even though I do my grocery shopping at Walmart, I hate going to Walmart, and I love going to Target. Uh, Starbucks or local coffee shop? Again, kinda torn because one, I don't really go out to get coffee. Um, I would prefer a local coffee shop over Starbucks. I really don't think Starbucks coffee is that great. Um, every now and then they'll put one out that I'm just like, oh yes, you're giving me life. But most of the time, I really don't think their coffee is that great. So I would prefer a local coffee shop, but I have not found one here that yet yeah, have not found one that is just fantastic now we do have um i don't even i don't even know if you can really call it a local coffee shop because they do pop-ups but it's cold brew coffee and um i want to say it's called nitro cold brew uh it's really good it's really good they usually pop up at the farmer's market um in ocean springs so yeah, I do, I do really like the cold brew. Um, so we're gonna say local coffee shop. Um, high end, I thought I took these questions out, I guess I didn't. High end or bargain clothing, you guys, if you have been on my channel before, you know I am a bargain gal, so I'm all about the bargain clothing. Um, not interested in paying a high, high price tag for some clothing. Again, I'm a stay at home mom. I don't really get out much anyway, so why do I need high end clothing? Now, yes, every now and then you need that one piece that just, like, makes you feel, like, makes you just feel really good. But I think you can do that. Shopping bargain. Uh, one of my favorite places to shop here locally is actually a local boutique. I've talked about them on my channel before. But they're a local boutique. They're called Ten. Um... Everything in that store is $10 and under. And you guys, I'm not kidding you, 90% of my closet is made up of things that I purchased from that store. I'm not even kidding. The shirt, the t-shirt that I'm wearing today came from that store. I love it. I would go mad in there. If they gave me like $300 to spend in there, I would be done in two minutes. I'm not even kidding. That's how much I love that store. I could go in there and pick up one of everything and be happy with it. Um, high end or drugstore makeup? You guys already know, drugstore makeup. I am a drugstore makeup kind of gal. Now I do pepper in some high end products here and there, but most of my makeup collection is drugstore. Um, Dollar Tree or 99 cent? I don't know why I put this question in here because we don't have a 99 cent store here and I'm all about the DT. Uh, dollar General or Family Dollar. Again, I don't know why I put that question in there, but I do know that there are other mamas out there that are bargain mamas, so you might have an opinion on that. I personally don't. Well, no, I'm going to say Dollar General because I don't think I've ever actually stepped foot in a Family Dollar. If I have, I have not done so in the past five years. Uh, so we're going to say Dollar General. Also, 
quick little fun fact there on the street that I live on. I live um, on a main road. Very, very busy main road. And I'm not kidding you, there is a Dollar General at both ends of this street. Why do we need a Dollar General on both ends of the street? I don't know. One end of the street is in one city and the other end of the street is in another city. Um, the, the line, the city line, whatever the city limits line, is like right through this street. So I guess I understand that. Um, anyway, next section I labeled it kid fun. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, so Chick-fil-A or Chuck E. Cheese. I'm going to say Chick-fil-A. You guys, Chuck E. Cheese kind of gives me anxiety. Uh, <laughs> it just does. I don't know. I just, uh, I really don't like going to Chuck E. Cheese all that much. Um, so I'm going to say Chick-fil-A. Beach or the pool? Um, I like the pool, but if, if I'm taking my son, I'm going to say the beach because here locally we don't get in the water. Um, we've had some problems with our water here. So, and one of my biggest fears, because I live around water, one of my biggest fears is, I shouldn't say this, but one of my biggest fears is of my son drowning. So, I don't take him to the pool unless my husband comes with me. Um, we go to the beach, but we don't go anywhere near the water, so... Beach, beach is good for me. Um, water park or splash pad? You guys, I love a water park, but I've not been in so long, and I cannot wait until my son is old enough to go to the water park because that's where we're going to spend our summer. I'm going to buy season passes for the water park, and that's what we're going to do all summer, every single day, just go to the water park. Um, so for right now, splash pad, even though he really doesn't like the splash pad, I've tried to go play with him at the splash pad and he just, he, he doesn't want anything to do with it. He'll like dance around in the puddles, but he doesn't want any water spraying him or falling on him or anything like that. Like he is not having it. Um, toys or devices. Now this could be a little bit controversial for some people. Um, I prefer for my son to play with regular toys though. Now he does have, um, he does have a tablet, um, which was actually my husband's tablet that we just said, you know what, fine, you're the, you, you use it more so you can have it. Um, and we also, I have a Nintendo DS, but again, he uses it more so it's pretty much his now. Um, I try to limit the amount that he is on his devices and try to limit the amount that he is in front of the television. Yes, he is sitting in front of the television right now watching Sesame Street while I am filming my videos. Um, but as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm done for the day and I will be spending time with him. Um, but we will probably be spending it in front of the television because it's Saturday and we ain't got crap to do. Um, so I'm going to say toys rather than devices. Um, inside or outside, we both love being outside. So I'm going to say outside. Outside play, that's for us. Even though we live in an apartment, we spend a lot of time out on the patio though. Um, like a lot of time, like our, my patio is pretty much covered with his toys that I probably need to bring inside. Um, okay. Originally, this section was labeled controversial. I have since made it not so controversial and just labeled it random. But, I mean, these are random mom questions. So, breastfeeding or formula feeding? Personally, I formula fed. I don't feel bad about that. Um, yes, breast is best, and I would have loved to have breastfed my child, but you guys, I could not do it. Um, I'm pretty sure I did produce because my boobs got freaking huge, but you guys, they hurt so bad. Like, my husband told me, cause I said, you know, I'm gonna, I want to try, I want to try to breastfeed. And the entire time I was pregnant, my husband was telling me, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're in so much pain right now, there is no way you're going to be able to let a kid latch onto your boob. It's just not going to happen. And he was right. You guys, my, my breast hurt so bad when I was pregnant. If I accidentally grazed up against a wall, it was excruciating for me. So yeah, when it came time for the nurse to come in, the, the lactation nurse to come in and say, okay, it's, it's time to feed the baby now. What do you, how do you want to do this? I said, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to do formula for right now. I just don't think I can do it. Um, 
so I formula fed, um, and my son is fine. He's completely healthy, doesn't have any health problems. He's good. We're good. Um, next one, which, okay, I need to, I need to switch these, the order of these. So I'm going to switch the order of these real quick. So hospital or home birth, totally hospital. Take me to the hospital. Now, my entire life, I always said I wanted to do a home birth. I wanted to do a water birth. Um, but then I started really researching it and um, decided that was not for me because I'm a wuss. <laughs> I don't handle pain that well. I mean, there are certain types of pain that I can handle. There are other types of pain, like actual pain, like not recreational pain. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I said. Um, not recreational pain that I just can't handle. And when I say recreational pain, like, okay, tattoos and piercings, I'm all about. It doesn't, it's pain, but it's kind of like an adrenaline rush, and I kind of enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, but like, breaking your arm, that kind of pain, no, no, not so much for me. Um, so, hospital, because, next question, epidural or no epidural, give me the drugs, you guys. They didn't even have to ask me multiple times. As soon as they took me into a room and said, okay, you're ready, you're dilated, are you ready? Do you want the drugs or not? Give them to me. <laughs> I didn't even hesitate. Like, I don't think they even got the words out of their mouth before I said, yes, give me the drugs. Give me the drugs right now. Because, um, you guys, I was in labor for... I was in labor for four hours before we actually went to the hospital. So, by the time we got to the hospital, it was like, holy crap, get this thing out of me now. And I still did not give birth to him. Um, I'll have to add it up. Let's see. I went into labor at 4 a.m. So, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. I was in labor for 17 hours, you guys. I should know that. I feel like, no, I thought it was 18. I swore it was 18. No, it was, so... 17 and a half hours because I think it was 9 30 when I get these are things that I should know that I don't know because I you guys I am also very sensitive to um like anesthesia and that sort of thing and once they gave me the epidural I was out I was knocked out for the rest of labor until it was time to push I don't remember anything and then even after after I did push and he was out <sighs> I was knocked out again, you guys. <laughs> it was a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, 17 hours I was in labor. So yeah, epidural. Totally epidural. Um, are you an organic mommy or a non-organic mommy? I am a little bit of both. I'm not like everything's got to be organic. But I do, I do have a little bit of mom guilt um, because he does eat a lot of crap. So I do try to throw things in there that are organic. Um... And that is a good thing because some of the things that are organic that I have given him, he really, really enjoys. So I feel good about giving him those things. Now, some days I'm just like, I don't care, eat a Twinkie, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little bit of both. Uh, but you guys, I'm just going to say that I'm a non-organic mom because I really just don't care if it's organic or not. Um, okay, here's some more random ones. Are you a Pinterest mommy or an Amazon mommy? Um, I would love to be a Pinterest mommy, but I'm totally an Amazon mommy. Uh, I, I haven't even used my Pinterest in like a year, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I have a lot of boards on Pinterest, but I don't think I've pinned anything in a while. But I do go back to my Pinterest boards for recipes and for DIY projects sometimes, not like every day. I want to so bad because I have a lot of like kid projects on there and like, you know, like the, the melting chalk, the ice cube chalk, and that sort of stuff that I really want to make with my son. But you guys, that gets messy. And I just don't want to deal with it. So, yeah. Amazon mommy. Um, cloth or disposable diapers? Disposable diapers. Um, because I also have a weak stomach. Uh, DIY baby food or store-bought baby food? store-bought baby food. Again, I am not a Pinterest mommy as much as I would like to be. 
Um, I tried a couple of times to make my own baby food. It's really, really easy, you guys. All you gotta do is boil some, boil some vegetables and put them in a blender or steam some vegetables and put them in a blender um, just because you need them to be hot so that they'll actually be malleable. It's really easy to do. And then you know that there's no preservatives in that. You can just do the veggies, um, which is great. It's a great idea in theory. But it was just so much easier just to pop a top and feed him. <laughs> so much easier. And also, he he was not ever really a fan of just like one one item baby food. Like just carrots, not so much. Like carrot pea sweet potato medley type deal. Love that. Um, and I'm not blending up that many different fruits and veggies. I'm sorry. I'm just not doing it. Um, okay, next one is relaxing time. So, your relaxing time. Do you prefer to do it with or without your kids? Totally without my kids. I love my son. I love him so much. But you guys, when it is time for mommy to relax, ain't no kids around. Um, do you like to stay home for your relaxing time or go out? I like to do both. When, like on the days that my husband is off work, he'll usually tell me, get out of the house, go do something. And I will. I'll go out for a little while. I usually go to Target. Um, go to Target, look around, go to the Dollar Tree, look around, maybe buy some things, probably not. Uh, come home, lock myself in my bedroom, and get in the bathtub. So I do a little bit of both. I do prefer to go out rather than stay home and do my relaxing time, but I do kind of have relaxing time every night, and that is, of course, at home. Um, so do you prefer to have wine or some other type of non-alcoholic beverage? It depends on my mood, you guys. I, I am a wine mommy. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm totally a wine mom. Like my Moscato. I have a bottle of Sweet Red in my fridge right now that I just, I'm trying to force down my throat because I just really don't like it. Um, but ain't nothing wrong with a glass of sweet tea in the bathtub either. So, hey, there's my kid. I'm going to finish this up. Um, do you prefer to have a bath or a shower? Now, when he was an infant, when he was a newborn, um, it was totally a shower because a shower was like a really quick five minutes and it was fantastic. But now, bath time. Bath time all the way. So, mommy fashion time. Yoga pants or maxi skirts? Let's be honest, maxi skirts are just crotchless yoga pants. But I'm probably putting on yoga pants. Um, but probably like capris. Um, do you like to dress sloppy or do you like to be put together? Most days I am throwing on some yoga pants and a t-shirt. But every now and then I do like to actually get dressed in something nice. Just to make myself feel human, just so that I don't lose myself and I stay true and connected to my soul, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, flip-flops or tennis shoes? I am a flip-flop girl all the way. That question was kind of sort of taken from the original one. Um, but yeah, flip-flops all the way, you guys. If I'm talking about comfy shoes, it is flip-flops. Um, wedges or heels? Wedges. See, that's a question that I feel like should have been in the original tag because um, he's being so cute. He's got a pen and he's going, and he's writing in this little notepad that's next to me. Um, anyway, wedges or heels I feel like should have been in the original tag because how are flip-flops related to heels in any way, shape, or form? Um, wedges or heels, totally wedges. Once upon a time I was all about my heels. Cannot do it anymore have to wear wedges. Um, makeup or no makeup? Typically, most days, you guys, typically most days, I actually don't wear makeup. I try to make myself at least put on a little bit. Like today, I did the five minute makeup challenge. Um, and it's just a light little everyday type of makeup look. Kind of natural, kind of, I mean, of course, you know I've got makeup on, but it's not so whew, full face glam. Um, so most days, no makeup, and I'm okay with that. Um, messy hair. Oh, excuse me. Now I have the hiccups. Messy, dirty hair or nice, clean hair. <sighs> so I'm torn on this one because for about the past week, maybe the past week and a half, 
I have been washing my hair every day because I've been trying a new technique. Well, a new to me technique where for my curly hair for when you wash your hair and you condition, you don't rinse the conditioner out. It's supposed to add moisture to your hair. Um, it's supposed to get rid of the frizz and just make your curls really come to life. So for the past week, week and a half, I've been making sure that my hair is clean every day. Um, but before that, you guys, honestly, I would wash my hair like every other day, maybe other, every two days. Um, and it was piled up on top of my head, which I don't mind. It's not, it doesn't bother me. I don't usually leave the house if, you know, I'm looking like that. Um, purse or a diaper bag, you guys. I could not carry a diaper bag. I don't have to carry one anymore. My son is three, so I don't have to take, like, his entire bedroom with me when I go somewhere. But I never liked the idea of carrying a diaper bag. So what did I do? I went out and got a very large, nice Betsy Johnson bag. And that had all of my purse junk in it and all of my diaper bag junk in it. And I didn't feel like a frumpy old mom. Um, yuck. Earrings. Studs or dangly earrings. That is so pretty. He is drawing pictures for me now. Studs or dangly earrings. I'm totally a dangly earring kind of gal. That one also from the original tag. Um, jewelry or no jewelry. I don't actually wear a lot of jewelry. My rings, the, the three rings that I have on my fingers now, my engagement band, um, my wedding band, and my other engagement ring. Um, or what I wear every day. I typically try to wear earrings, but it doesn't always happen. Um, and let's be honest, if I'm home, there's no reason for me to wear jewelry. Um, sports bra or a regular guy, you guys. <clears throat> I'm built for comfort, not for speed. So I love to wear a sports bra, but I can't find one that fits me. So, regular bra. Um, chores! We're almost done, guys. Um, do you prefer to wash and dry your laundry or fold your laundry? I hate folding laundry. I will wash and dry it and throw it in a hamper all day long. I hate folding it. Do you prefer vacuuming or sweeping? Vacuuming. Clean your bathroom or clean your kitchen? Clean my kitchen. Um, oh, this one, you guys. Do you want your kids to clean their room or do you clean their room? I would prefer for him to clean his own room, but I always end up doing it for him because he is a fussy butt. Um, that's not true. I do make him help me. He do, I don't do it for him. I, he does have to help me. Um, if he doesn't help me, he does get in trouble. Um, dusting or not dusting? I think I probably dust my house like once every six months. My eyelashes are sticking together. Yeah, so I don't, I don't dust very often. Um, do you prefer cleaning the house or cleaning the, the yard? We don't have a yard, but I can almost guarantee you that when we do get a house, I will probably prefer cleaning the yard to cleaning the house. <clears throat> but I will probably be doing both. Um, hand washing dishes or using a dishwasher. You guys, I totally use a dishwasher. Now, <clears throat> I will say, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, my goodness. I'm starting to get hoarse and I didn't bring any water in here for filming this video. And I really should have done that. And this is ended up going a lot longer than I meant for it to go. Um, I will admit there is something about hand washing your dishes. And every now and then, I do have dishes that only get hand washed. But typically, I'm using the dishwasher because it's just quicker. But there is something about hand washing your dishes that is just very satisfying. Um, okay, meal time. Do you prefer a home cooked meal or do you do takeout? We prefer to do home-cooked meals. Um, we don't really go out very often anymore. Um, so I'm going to say home-cooked. Now, that being said, fresh or frozen? Um, frozen. I, uh, yeah, I just can't, I can't, okay, I buy fresh foods to cook and they don't end up getting used. Like, I don't buy produce because I won't use it up. Um, most of it ends up going bad before I use it. So, frozen for me. So, I hope this was entertaining for you. I feel like it went a little too long. I am going to tag Pals Lives Life to do this tag as well. Since she tagged me in the original, I'm going to tag her in this one. Um, 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and you've not already, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell next to it so you get notifications on when I post new videos. Also, follow me on Instagram, Beauty 82 the same way that it's spelled here. And I will see you on the flip side.